welcome back for this week's episode of The Weekend Preview. I'm Holly, and this is Karen, and this week we're covering January 20th, 21st, and 22nd. And we release a new episode each Thursday to help keep you in touch with what's happening right here in your nature coast. Don't miss any of our future episodes. Make sure you go and like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hello, I'm Eric Riggins with Smoking Good Barbecue, bringing you this weekend's forecast. This weekend forecast will be in the high 70s, dropping down to the low 50s and 60s, uh, starting off partly cloudy. Uh, but on Sunday, just expect a few thunderstorms. Other than that, we should have a great weekend. Hey, thank you for watching. And remember, I'm Eric Riggins with Smoking Good Barbecue. You don't need teeth to eat our meat. Have a great weekend. Hi, my name is attorney Sandra Day. I practice at the Day Law Office with my husband David Day. We've been in practice since 2000 here in Hernando County and we just really opened our practice with the intent of making a difference in our community. My wife and I focus on the areas of family law, bankruptcy, estate planning, and probate. People ask me why I love what I do. These notes are reminders of how I help people. Thank you for giving me my life back. You and your staff were so wonderful. When I look at these thank you notes, it's a constant reminder of why I do what I do. We can definitely do everything we need to do to get you to where you want to be. Attention all you motorheads, get ready to rev up your engines at the Florida Dirt Motor Speedway for their 15th annual New Year's Shootout. This is a go-kart race where they're bringing in national level racers from around the country. Over 200 entries will be there racing each other and over 500 spectators there in the stands. There'll be prizes up to $2,000, so if you want to enter, make sure you register. There will be concessions there to keep you fueled up throughout the day. So grab a hot dog, grab your family and your friends, and enjoy this time. Did you know that there are 500% more manatees today than there were in 1991? Well, did you know that Crystal River serves as the winter home to hundreds of these manatees each year? Well, it's true. On Saturday, you could head up there to Crystal River and you can join them on the paddle boarding with the manatees right there. They're going to be going out to Kings Bay and Hunter Springs, taking a tour along that path, looking for those manatees. Then they're going to set up anchor there behind Pete's Pier in that little cove, and you're going to enjoy a 45 minute yoga session. This entire tour starts at 10.30 a.m. and will end about 1. There is a fee to participate in this class, but you're bound to have some beauty as you find these magnificent creatures along the way in Crystal River. Hey all you history buffs, coming up for you this weekend is the most perfect event for you. It's the 37th annual Brooksville Raid, which goes through Saturday and Sunday. That's right, this is a Civil War reenactment of an actual battle that happened here in Brooksville in 1864. They're gonna be having over 1,500 reenactors and their families there reliving this epic battle. That's right, this is the largest Civil War reenactment in the entire state of Florida, so it's bound to be a bang. And speaking of a bang, they have over 28 cannons that are gonna be on site at this event. In addition to the cannons, I heard they're gonna be having horses, about 60 or more horses that are gonna be there. Maybe they'll let me ride one. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, but if they don't, they still have 50 settlers, otherwise known as vendors, that are gonna be there for you to actually walk around and mingle with. Yes, the vendors are gonna be having cattle corn as well as some Civil War items and memorabilia and some old fashioned root beer there for you too. Holly, I know you didn't forget to tell them to try the fry bread while they're there. You guys can't miss the fry bread. I heard it's one of the top most things that you have to get while you're there. That's right, as you heard Holly say, this is a two day event that kicks off on Saturday and then runs through Sunday. You can go to our website and look at that post and you'll find the full list of activities. Animals are welcome at the event, but they are required to be on a leash. For any additional information about these events or any of our other events, make sure you go to our Facebook page and click on that events tab. And make sure you stick around because our featured event is coming up after this. Chefimages.net, we are a personal caterer. It's fresh food to you, your venue, your house. Not my menu, your menu, your choice. You just give me a call, 352-428-4848 or chefimages.net. It's everything you need at your door. 
if we have Split rated PG-13. Who is that? Maybe she can help us. We're here! Help us! We're right here! Don't worry. He's not allowed to touch you. He knows what you're here for. He listens to me. M. Night Shyamalan returns with this thriller that he wrote and directed that follows three girls who are kidnapped by a man who has multiple personalities and it finds them having to use those personalities against each other. The beast is real. He's done awful things to people and he'll do awful things to you. Do you live in Pasco County? Do you want to know what programs and schools are available to you or your children? Head to Pasco Safety Town for their Celebrate Youth event happening. This is our main event and we are so excited to tell you much more about it. That's right, Celebrate Youth is actually kicking off National School Choice Week and is Pasco County's Spotlight event. This is a place where you're going to find information about public and private school options for you and your family. There are going to be various scholarship opportunities as well as special programs like the IB program, as well as Florida Virtual School and much, much more. That's true. And Pasco Hernando Early Learning Coalition is going to be on site to give you some information about the voluntary pre-kindergarten program and their school readiness program in addition to giving away books to all of your preschoolers that show up. That's so nice of a cause. As well as the petting zoo I heard is gonna be there. Bounce houses, come on, let's get excited guys. Yeah, that's right. PlayStation will be there with various activities including the bounce house and a rock climbing wall. Investigation Station is gonna be bringing their traveling children's museum to keep the kids occupied throughout the day. So it is gonna be so fun. Lots of live entertainment for you there all day, whether it be a DJ, I heard Shayla Faring's gonna be there, a local celebrity as well as school choirs. That's true, and it's a free event that's open to the public. They want you to come out and enjoy. They're giving away 500 gifts to the first 500 families that arrive. The event does start at 10 a.m. and runs through four. Again, it's on Saturday at Pasco Safety Town. So grab your family and head out to see what education opportunities lie for you right here. Thank you guys so much for watching us on this week's episode of The Weekend Preview. If you have an upcoming event that you would like considered for one of our episodes, you can email us at media at naturecoast.tv and we'll see you next, next week. week.